Hey folks, JD here, and apologies straight off the bat. I don't have a new quadcopter for this week, I'm still waiting for them to be delivered from overseas. So, until then, I thought the Wednesday and the Saturday video for this week only would be set up with question and answers. So, recently I've been asked a question about this little guy. Essentially, this is something I've never tested between the both if the battery life of the H502S and the H502E are the same. Now the E, I get a rated 11 minutes out of the battery with a little bit of recording video and then mostly flying. So I wonder if this is going to be the same. Okay, here we are again with these wonderful little quadcopters. This is the H502S. So much fun to fly, very loud. Don't like how loud they are, but to be honest with you, it makes up for it in how much fun they are to fly and control. This is such a good little quad. I mean, I've always been a fan ever since flying the, f the first uh, Hubson, which was the H502E, the first out of these GPS quadcopters. And they are just so, so good. So with the H502E, we're looking at a registered time of 11 minutes. Now with this, this is going to be, so I'm going to be recording this, uh, a little bit of video on this for the same time as I would on the H502E. So on the S, I'm going to be recording normally about four minutes of video, and I get that down to about a minute and a half, two minutes into the edit of the video. Um, and then the rest of it then will just be kind of like altitude hold, kind of like moving it around a bit and see how long we get from this. But I'm expecting to get uh, about 10 minutes, a little bit less because of the direct FPV transmitter relay. Um, it is constantly talking. You can turn this off, but obviously in a real world scenario, uh, you guys are going to want to have this on to see exactly what your quadcopter sees. So I don't think it's really a test if I turn this screen off. So until then, let's just uh, let's see what happens. So we're down to half battery already on the X4, but I have known that it to be down to half battery and still give me uh, a minimum of 10 minutes of flight. So hopefully that isn't a um, that isn't indicative of it about to fail. <laughs> so and we got half battery left in this transmitter as well. All in all, we are looking at 11. 11 GPS satellites uh, on the quad and 8 on the transmitter for the follow me function. So I'm not going to do any follow me with this today because obviously the E doesn't have follow me uh, and also that may drain the battery a little bit quicker. It just stays around and hovers in mid-air so so well. Just really really loves to fly these, uh, these quads do. I mean they are so agile. And they're pretty, pretty quick as well. <laughs> but above all, just so much fun. Look at it. You know, corkscrewing in the air, figure of eight. It doesn't matter. It just loves it. It just absolutely loves it. A little hover. This is really quite low to the ground and still. See, not that, not, not that much of an issue. Really, really good. GPS just locks onto it and just maintains its altitude there. Down to one bar of battery now. We've been flying so far for about four and a half minutes. So I still haven't changed the red propellers and taken them off this S from the last video that we did a couple of weeks ago. I quite like them. I quite like them. I'm thinking about just ordering a pair of a red set of uh, propellers for my E as well. Even though they are off the E, but still, I really like them. Adds a bit more colour to the sky. Okay, so we're still looking on one bar of battery there. Still again looking at a maximum of eight satellites on the quad, 11 on the transmitter. The, my only criticism of these is I wish the camera was better. I know it's, 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 it's quite a mild criticism for some, but all right, we're getting a little bit. Even from this range here, we're getting a little bit of signal degra degradation. Every now and again, this screen is turning itself off, or it's it's garbled in some way. So there's every possibility that the battery of this quadcopter is about to give out. We are at the six minute mark. Only a couple more minutes, fella, to be like your brother. Still very quick to respond. Again, and not too far away from it. 
I don't like to be too far away from my quadcopters. At the same time, really, really does respond really lightning fast. Uh, no issues there. Now we've got no bars on the battery meter of the quad. Two on the transmitter. There we are. Now the quadcopter battery has gone red. Now we are on seven minute mark. Or just after seven minute. Still responding really well. Signal still being relayed really well. There isn't any sort of disturbance that I can see which happens all the time. Now and again, yes. But, I mean, look, we're still looking really, really well. Signal is still being received really well. Hopefully, at the point of the battery being emptied, it's just going to lower itself down and turn itself off really is such a good set of quadcopters these for toy grade quadcopters they really are absolutely fantastic so much fun and now they have dropped in price so significantly that they're really not that expensive either i think when i paid for this i bought this going back about eight months ago um oh no it wasn't as much as that was it going back about six months ago and it cost roughly I think it was about £140. Now, I've seen that they are for sale for best part of, of 90 uh, And that's the S model, not the E. The E comes in slightly cheaper again. Again, we have still got a red bar on the, the quadcopter battery. Still looking at that. Almost 10 minute mark now. Video being transmitted really well. Quadcopter still, quadcopter still reacting really well. On the throttle there, as I was bringing it down, slightly getting a little bit sticky. Uh, seems to be okay now. Brilliant. Well, there we go. We've beaten the 10 minute mark and we've still got a red battery there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring it down. We're looking at the same sort of battery life for the S as we are for the E. So that in itself is, is confirmed. So there we have it folks. Obviously your, uh, you know, today is extremely still day. There's no wind resistance at all. Recorded four minutes of video uh, and the rest then was just up to the quadcopter. Even though the battery was showing red on the transmitter and about to uh, turn itself off, I didn't notice any sign that that was going to happen. There were, it was still extremely reactive to all uh, forms of uh, movement. Still flying really well, still relaying the signal really well back to the transmitter and the FPV screen. Uh, uh, so once again, yeah, I would say these two quadcopters have got the same battery life, the E and the S. Uh, I have seen no signs whatsoever in uh, the, that being any different at all. All right then, folks. So thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. Uh, I'll be back now on Saturday uh, once again. We'll have another video on Saturday, unfortunately. Obviously, if my quadcopters turn up at that point, then I will do a quick unboxing and a, uh, and a test flight of that quad. Uh, but until then, my friends, happy flying.